Hi, this is Becky Berg, and I'd like to welcome you to virtual session number nine, and this is on compensation. So our focus today is going to be um, really talking about how compensation is a method in which you're using your sense of quantity to create those simpler problems. This strategy is really powerful with not just smaller two and three digit numbers, but with um, larger quantities as well. Connections to core, we have lots of connections to content standards, but once again, this is really focusing on um, the properties and place value and really reasoning about the quantities we're working with, okay, making those landmark or friendly numbers to solve in an efficient manner. So compensation. If we define compensation, it's simply a technique we use all the time in math without really thinking about it. Compensation is when we convert a problem to a more manageable one in order to calculate the answer more easily. And you have seen a few of these techniques used in previous virtual sessions. So for example, um, when we buy two items at the store and the cost is 99 cents and 99 cents, we think about it as oftentimes two dollars and then we subtract two cents which is a dollar ninety-eight. That would be one simple um, example of compensation. We added two pennies, but then we had to subtract those two pennies because we know that we just can't simply change the quantity of these numbers that we're adding. We need to go ahead and adjust so that we're actually being true to the quantities. So keep in mind that with compensation, what I've seen happen sometimes is we tell them what to do and how to, to do compensation, and they're not owning it. They're really not understanding the why. So they need opportunities to test and prove these strategies. If you're doing number talks, you're really going to see compensation come out in your number talks. And initially, you may want to have students use manipulatives to provide that proof for their ideas and for how they compensated. So going back to that pictorial concrete connection to their computational strategies. A problem such as 19 plus 5. Compensation is when we make those friendlier numbers. So we're thinking about this as, we could think about it as 20 plus 5 equals 25. And since we added 1 to the 19, we need to think about that as subtracting 1 because we added 1 extra to get 24. Okay? Or if we think about that on a number line, we could think about that as 5 plus 20. So that commutative property, right? I started with 5 equals 25. And then we added 1 too many, didn't we? So we have to subtract 1 to equal 24. So it does not matter what tool we use, if it's branching, number line, equations, but you'll notice that that would be another way of looking at compensation. All right, so let's think about another compensation addition problem. What if we had 48 plus 24? Now, 25s are really friendly for most kids because of quarters and money. So I could think about 48 as being close to 50. So 48 plus 2 is 50 plus 1 for our 24 is 25. 50 and 25 is 75. But then I had added 3 extra, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract that 3. So my answer is 72. Now you've probably noticed that compensation works beautifully for numbers that are close to the next 10 or 100. So here, if kids are thinking about this as compensation, thinking about that as 200, 99 is really one away from 100, and 49 is close to 50. You can see how easy it would be to think about 200 plus 100 plus 50 as being 350. Okay. However, now we've added three extras, so now we just have to subtract three. And because kids are good at those combinations of 10, they're able to do that mentally pretty well. So let's take a look at some student examples of compensation. All right, so this was a number talk that related to 998 plus 49. And here you'll see what the student um, told me to record was that he added 2 to 998 and 1 to 49. And that 
1,000 plus 50 equals 1,050, and then he asked me to subtract 3. I asked him why I subtracted 3, um, and actually he was able to explain that because he added 3 extra, he had to subtract 3, okay? So just one example of compensation. All right, so I'd like to have you take a look at an addition compensation example um, in which a student was given a problem and they simply recorded their thinking and their way of solving using an iPad app called Explain Everything. So let's take a look. Okay, okay. Okay, so, sorry, you guys started with, okay. 398, 398 plus 86 equals, I'm just going to add two here. And four here, and then because it's easier, uh, four hundred plus ninety equals uh, four hundred ninety, and then I need to subtract six because that's what four plus two is, and I added that in, or add six, yeah, subtract, and then that equals. 484. And how did you know it was 484? Well, because I know 6 and 4 is 10, so I know I had to put a 4 there, and then I had to go 10 down, which equals 80, and then 400 is just left alone. Okay, Dakota had 398 baseball cards. His friend gave him 86 more cards. How many cards does Dakota have now? So I'm going to do an addition number line, so... 398 plus 86, 86 equals n. So, um, that's the number line. So, start with 398 plus 2 equals 400. I know, 400. Plus the um, <clears throat> 84. 84 equals 484. So the answer would be four, uh, 484. Alright, so I hope what you're noticing in the student example that you just heard is our strategies really do blend together. So really, um, this student was using an open number line strategy, but notice that compensation or making it friendly in some way was also used. Um, that student wanted to get to that 400 because that was easy for them. So they took 398 plus 2 to equal 400. So really they subtracted 2 from the 86 um, and made it part of the 398. So just so you know that um, compensation, open number line branching, um, those strategies come together often um, to work together and benefit student um, learning as well as a way to show and explain. All right, I hope that was helpful to you. Um, really, as you looked at compensating with addition, I hope you're seeing the power of number sense and, and understanding versus just following steps and procedures. Um, students really feel empowered by that when they can uh, manipulate numbers fluidly. So once again, to access the virtual sessions and related resources, um, you can go to this URL. And next session, when we're together, we're going to continue working on compensation and relating that to subtraction. How do we use compensation when we subtract? Um, and this will be really powerful for you when working with teachers. Um, this seems to be the difficult one to teach why we do it this way um, when we compensate with subtraction. So I hope you can join us. Um, thank you and have a great day.